loss of hair and loss of hair color. Is, is there any supplements for that? That's an excellent question. So, and it, so a, a friend of mine, and I will uh, call him out on this, Faraz Khan is obsessed, obsessed with figuring out how hair fails over the course of time. And he keeps trying to suck me into to making things for this. But it's very complicated and it has to do with, um, God, it's, 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 it's extremely complicated. So if you're, if you're young and you lose your hair, that's one thing versus you're old and you lose your hair versus losing the color of your hair, it's all different pieces and parts of this puzzle. Um, so if you are young and you're losing your hair, it's probably genetic. And then you're sort of semi-screwed. If you're old and you're losing your hair and it's the male pattern balding, it's a cross between um, hormonal issues, blood flow in the scalp and, and a variety of other things. Because if you PRP um, the bald spot as you are balding, you can actually recover a lot of the hair loss. So we know it's reversible. It's just a matter of what is it that we are reversing? It doesn't need to be topical or can it be oral? Interestingly enough, there's something called a clonia cava, which is a seaweed from Japan and it's known to make your hair grow faster and better, um, which is kind of cool. How it does that exactly, I don't know, but it does and studies have proven that it does. Um, additionally, so in terms of color, color can be one of two things. Color comes from a melanocyte stem cells. Um, how, to, how to phrase this? One of two things either happen. Either the melanocyte stem cell stops making melanocytes and this stops making color, or the hair gets bleached from within because you get a development of catalase in your cells. That's not true. You get a development of hydrogen peroxide in your cells and catalase gets rid of it and turns it into oxygen and water. But if you have a catalase deficiency, you're going to bleach your hair before it grows out. So you're going to look gray. So you're either gray because you've got stem cell problem or you have a catalase deficiency, both of which you can kind of help by the entire program. So a lot of the things I talk about aren't going to be specifically for your hair, but they're going to help all of your cells in general. And therefore your hair will benefit by association. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't have a magical shampoo if that's what you're asking for. No, 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 no. That was great. That was great. So the, um, the Japanese seaweed is, is that topical or? Oral. Uh, both actually. Um, a clonia cava, I, I take it orally, um, but it does come, they put it in creams frequently and you can smear it on yourself. I think there's actually an a clonia cava shampoo, I think. Oh, interesting. So you do okay. have a magic shampoo. Uh, I've never used it. I think I've seen it advertised, but yes, I guess there is a magic shampoo. Uh, I don't know if it works or not. Right. I've never tried. I have, I have no firsthand evidence of that, but I do take a clonia cava and I do have damn good hair. Which may or may not be correlated. I have no idea. Right. Yeah. Oh, that is the thing with science. So uh, one last one. Um, <laughs> sarcopenia. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, we all, as we get older, you know, our muscles kind of get less strong. Um, any supplements to kind of help with sarcopenia? Yes, actually. So... It depends if you want to just be a normal looking person or if you want to be a bodybuilder, right? We all know that these bodybuilder guys suck down every amino acid in the world. Um, we don't really need to look like that, but to be normal, what you need to actually do is the opposite of rapamycin. You need to activate your mTOR pathway, right? Which is that sort of contradictory to this longevity thing, but leucine, um, is a fabulous amino acid. Uh, it's one of the branch chain amino acids. There's leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And they actually act as sort of like a, an organizer of your muscle. Um, and it helps muscle growth and organization without looking like kind of too bulky. So if you're really worried about sarcopenia, number one, take leucine. Number two, you also want a collagen intake. You want collagen coming in, activating fibroblasts, fibroblasts then sort of activate the whole system. So by taking collagen, you're not necessarily just producing collagen. It's, it's, it's sort of more complex than that. Collagen, leucine, and then you want to make sure your sirtuins are, are, are working because without your sirtuins, you're not going to make any muscle, which then gets us back to resveratrol, proterostilbene, and then nicotinamide. So there are many ways to skin a cat. But to answer your question, because you're going to be like, this is too too ridiculously confusing. In book two, what I have done um, is there in the back of the book, there will be a chart and I've divided um, 
the, the agents will be down one column and then I divide it into all these body systems with check marks. So if you wanna know what to help your brain with, there'll be a little brain icon and it'll have check marks to say, ah, these five things have been demonstrated to help you with your brain power. Or there'll be a muscle or there'll be a tendon or there'll be a this or that. And it that way, like these goal directed questions are more like easy for to answer. So for example, if you wanted to take uh, like three things that help your gut, you would go and look under the gut column and it would say, ha ha, this is what you need. Um, and it's all done by, it's evidence-based. So it's, it's fairly certain that it's going to be efficacious for people.